going on guys jesse thornock here thornock racing appreciate you guys coming over here and hanging out with me for a few minutes thornock racing on youtube and thornock racing on facebook definitely make sure to like and follow the page on facebook and subscribe over there on youtube so hey this video is going to go through uh the sim commander sim commander 4 by sim experience um, now you could use sim commander for a few different things me in particular i use it for my accuforce steering wheel and uh, I also just installed a butt kicker. So use it for my butt kicker, use it for my AccuForce steering wheel. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in this video is show you guys how to set up a profile uh, for your wheel. So I already got, I'm already loaded into the sim. You wanna load into your sim. Uh, me in particular, I use iRacing, but you can use this on a multitude of different uh, platforms. But me in particular, I'm using iRacing. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna load into your sim. You're gonna open up your sim commander uh, and then you're going to click this iRacing via launcher. Now you may have to set this button up, um, but it should set up when you first open up Sim Commander. It's going to tell you all the Sims that it supports, and then you click which one you want to use, and then it should set this button up for you. So um, you click uh, launch right here, iRacing via launcher. And now this setting, this is to start logging your laps. So you're going to go out and you're going to run a few laps. Start my car. All right, so uh, you just went out there and you ran a few laps. Uh, now what you're going to do is you can exit out of the sim and you're gonna come back into the sim commander four that we have up right here on the screen. And this is where you're gonna actually set up your lap that you just ran. So what you were doing is you were setting a baseline, logging telemetry for the, for the car for that uh, specific track, that specific car, that specific track. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back into your hub and you're going to set up a profile. Now. Uh, you're going to click this little plus button here, you can see right here, and you're going to go create from lap. And it will bring up this screen right here. Now, uh, we were doing it from the launcher. If you remember, uh, there was, it said from the launcher there. So you're going to go iRacing via launcher. And then you're going to find the car that you were just running. Uh, so you click these little buttons here. We were running the trucks at Martinsville. So here we go. We got the trucks at Martinsville. Uh, now I actually didn't log a full lap there. Um, so I just wanted to show you where to set up it within the sim. Um, so I had already logged some laps. So I'm going to use one of my old profiles. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to select the fastest profile that you have uh, that you logged. So you're going to click that one right here. It's usually at the bottom. Um, Martinsville right here, 19 and the trucks, and then you're gonna select this button right here, this little drop down menu, and you're gonna click Intelligent Peaks. Intelligent Peaks, uh, and then you don't mess with any of this. This is gonna, this is how it's going to tune uh, the auto tune a little bit. So uh, you just leave these settings just like that under Intelligent Peaks, you click OK. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna go into your output mixer right here. Now this is if you're going, okay, so if you didn't want to run auto tune, which if you're running uh, AccuForce by Sim Experience, I don't know why you wouldn't want to run auto tune. But if you didn't want to run auto tune, you could leave it just like this. You're going to go in here and you're going to rename it, uh, whatever you want to name it, and you're good to go. I per I would highly recommend that you run auto tune. So if you're going to run auto tune, this is what you do. You click the output mixer right here, this little button, and then you and then I have a, a butt kicker set up as well as my AccuForce wheel. Uh, but then you're going to click this tuning wizard here, tuning wizard. Uh, and then you're going to auto tune from recorded lap, lap telemetry. Now, what this does is it uh, every lap that you're running throughout your race, it's going to auto tune to your newest, your new bestest lap. So, <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound good. Uh, the, the new the best lap that you're about to run uh, or that you just ran, it's going to tune back to that. So. You're going to click that auto tune from recorded lap telemetry. You're going to click next. Uh, now, if you want to set up custom uh, settings for your wheel, uh, you're going to want to unclick the reset to defaults before auto apply an auto tune button. Um, so you want to unclick those. And then you're going to click next. Then you, then you do the exact same thing you just did. You're going to find that profile. The one you want to auto tune to, which is obviously going to be your fastest lap. Uh, and again, that's just the baseline because once you start to record faster laps, better laps, it's going to start tuning your wheel back to those laps. Uh, that's what the auto tune does. But you click your fastest lap and then you select an auto tune template. Intelligent Peaks as well. 
and then you click next and then it's going to set it up now i don't want to set up a new one here because i already have one but you just click the next button and then you click finish and it's going to be all done yeah i don't want to mess up what i currently have set up um so i'm going to go ahead and cancel out but you would click next and then it just brings you to a screen and then there's the finish button lights up here on the bottom you click finish and you're done um the next thing you're going to want to do after you set up your auto tune is you're going to come here and you're going to change the name so uh in this case uh, again i'm going to want to uh, cancel or cancel this one out so i would name it you know test ford f-150 at martinsville um test delete um but you can name it whatever you want to name it um and then it's going to look like this you can see here so like this one's arca chevy at texas 2020 oval uh, arca chevy at phoenix oval so you can name it whatever you want to name it uh, i just name it what the car is and what track it's at that's that's how i name mine so you're going to name it like that you know test delete ford and then you're done so all you, have to, you don't have to, there's no saving at this point you just exit out right here and then you're going to scroll through and find it and usually it's highlighted um, the first time so here you go so here's your test delete ford f-150 tune uh, now if you want to further tune it you can go back into settings so that's that's if you're going to set up an auto tune and you want to set auto tune and let the let the sim kind of run itself you're done uh, if you want to do a little bit more finer tuning you come in here to settings and then your output mixer and then you can click the down button right here on this accuforce steering wheel and then it's going to bring up all this extra stuff so um this one here has not been set up yet uh, I'll hop over to my Martinsville one to show you what it looks like, my actual Martinsville one. Uh, but you can mess with each individual one of these, tune, uh, turn up intensity up and down, up and down to, uh, for your liking. Uh, let me just uh, hop back over to my my actual Martinsville setup and for my trucks, F-150 at Martinsville. Now, something else that's a little bit weird is when you, when you set up a profile, it kind of mixes up all the profiles. I don't know why, but um, hopefully it'll allow me to open it up here. Okay, cool. So, and then I'm gonna go into my settings here. Now, this is uh, how I have mine set. So you guys can just pause it here and copy this if you'd like to. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, I would suggest you go in and run the track and kind of change some things. Uh, each track is going to be different. So that's the big thing here. I just started setting these up. So uh, Martinsville uh, is actually my first one that, I, that I've been tuning here to get the, the wheel how I like it. So, um, so go ahead and pause this and, or take a picture or whatever you want to do. Uh, if you take a picture, though, make sure you like and subscribe, man. <laughs> Do please, please uh, like and subscribe. Come hang out with us more often. But um, but yeah, so this is how I have mine set up. Now you're gonna want to just tune it back and forth. You simple. If you want it on, you click this on button. If you want it off, you click it. That's what an off looks like. That's what an on looks like. Uh, and then you just drag it. Just drag the intensity, and uh, it's gonna change for you. So that is kind of a quick way to set this whole thing up so appreciate you guys tuning in thornock racing on youtube thornock racing on facebook definitely make sure to like and subscribe on facebook and subscribe over there on youtube like and follow the page on facebook and subscribe on youtube go through like some of the streams like some of the other page uh posts leave me some comments let me know what you guys think of this video hopefully this helps out a few people appreciate you guys tuning in my name is jesse thornock we'll see you guys next time